Hi everyone, welcome to Axai Video Support Training. In this video, I will share how to add a CIFS mount points from a Windows Server to a local software for the event archive stores. In the Axai Local, event archive offers the flexibility to be stored either locally on the server where locally is installed or remotely using NFS or CIFS mount point. For example, in this local, I have config to store the event archive in a local folder named OPT Archive for both default storage group and internal event storage group. And when I access to this folder archive, I will be able to see there are two software for default storage group and internal event storage group, which contains the uh, events that archive for the local here and for now I don't want to store the event archive locally anymore but want to store it in another Windows server which have more capacity of this space and it can help to reduce the risk of the full disk space in the local so how to do this uh, in the First step, I will need to create a subfolder named event archive here in the local server. And I will need to change the owner for this folder to RSI, RSI event archive. Okay. In the next step, I will need to Define it in the archive storage setting, the logger here. Okay. If there's no error message uh, occurs, then this means your logger is already for the event archives. For now, if you try to archive the event, it will store the event locally in the part OPT event archives that you create. And I don't want to store the event archive locally, but I want to store it in a Windows server where the, I have created a folder name R store here. So what's next? In the next step, I need to share the folder that I create on the Windows Server with the right permission where I can read and write here. And I need to remember the share part of this folder. This is the network part of the folder. Next, I will need to mount this folder, this uh, window folder on this Windows server to the local server, and this is the command that you need to do. Should be mount stcifs minus o username. This will be the username that you can use to access to the Windows Server, where the local can be used is to accept and write to the folder that you create. In this case, I have set the permission for the R store folder with the administrator, so I will use the administrator user here. And the password is the password for the user. As an important information here that you need to set the user ID with the Axi and the GID with the Axi. If you forgot these two parameters, then the logger will not be able to read or write into the Windows Server folder and it will show the archive fails in the local web UI whenever you try to archive event. Next, I will need to define the part of the server.
and the folder name here finally I will need to define the local path for the event archive and enter if there's no uh, issue of course then this means the mount point has been added successfully and you can check with the df minus add command you will see the windows server has been mounted to opt and archive and the disk space of the folder is here uh, now uh, we can check it on the windows server to see if there's any Okay, this server is still empty because I did not uh, archive any event yet. And now I will try to archive a little bit of event here by go to event archive. Because there's no event archive here, so that's why the folder is empty. And I will try to archive some event from the past. Uh, for example, I will try to archive some events on June 5 and archive for both storage group. There should be six, sorry. And I will click save here. Okay, if everything is fine, then you will see the event archive is having status archiving here. And if you go to the art store, then you will see there are two subfolder for default storage group and internal event storage group that create in this folder. And the event archive for the days of the June 6th has been archived successfully and stored in this subfolder. Okay, this uh, how we add the CIS mount point from a Windows Server to a Linux Server. And in the next video, we will share how to add a NFS mount point from a Linux to a local software. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to let us know by comment on this video.